Well, um, okay, okay, so here's what happened. Um, here's what I guess finally happened. Um, I've been shooting for, I don't know, seven or eight years now. Uh, I've been shooting professionally for about seven or eight years. Um, throughout that whole time, I've dropped my camera once, and that was back when I was using primarily the M for video and stuff like that. Um, I dropped it on the floor. Uh, it dinged the corner of the lens just a little bit. Um, but nothing major, just kind of cosmetic damage, and that was it. Cut to last week, I dropped my main rig, which is a little bit heavier, a little bit more substantial. I had it locked onto my gimbal, because I was doing a video slash photo shoot, um, and then it just kind of fell. It wasn't that far, but it was enough to break my main real estate lens, the 10 to 18 EFS. Um, camera's more or less fine, there's a few kind of, I would call them cosmetic issues. There's nothing wrong, nothing else wrong with the camera, it works just fine, I've, I've used it since then. Um, but the lens on the other hand, it might be it might be a lucky thing that this was just a, a plastic lens, because the, uh, the bayonet pieces where it kind of locks in broke off, and that's probably what saved everything overall that was able to kind of distribute some of that impact and you know fly off um, as far as i was able to tell electronics glass all that in here is just fine um it was right at the end of the shoot so luckily i got the shoot taken care of oh i'm trying to put this back on and it sounds disgusting um luckily i i got that shoot taken care of i wasn't able to make my second shoot which is a bit of a bummer um but it gave me a few moments to kind of take everything in and figure out what my next move was because I had to take care of that other shoot, which unfortunately didn't happen because it's been raining all week. Um, so no big deal. I did manage to get another lens rushed out. Um, you're on it right now. It's the comparable lens to this, if not just a little bit of an upgrade. It's the EF-S 10 to 22, uh, 35. So that's a bit of a step up, if you will. There's no IS on this one, which is kind of a bummer, but I do appreciate the wider aperture at the base. Um, anyway, getting back to this, this poor little thing. I like this so much real estate because it's not, it doesn't weigh a lot and it's still 10 to 18. Um, but anyway, sorry. Uh, that afternoon I managed to find a Metabones replacement for the bayonet to get these little screws. Um, I didn't know they made this because I've never had to look for bayonet replacements before, but it it is quite an upgrade. It's metal. It's metal and it's very solid. Look at that. I don't know if you can see here. Can you see that? Let's get up on there right quick. You see that? That is great. Let's try to get the light on there. There we go, look at that. Anyway, so I got this uh, suit, it wasn't rushed, I got it as fast as I could. Um, and it came in early. So now the plan for today is I'm going to replace this. So this is gonna be a little bit nicer now, a little bit more heavy, cause this is not light, but nicer nonetheless. And uh, if we learned anything, it's, I'm packing up my bag every time I, uh, move locations even if it's just from one model to another model i'm gonna be super paranoid for quite a bit now because i've never really dropped my main work rig before like that and um i was a smidge upset so we're gonna swap over to different camera mode and then we're gonna replace this and hopefully everything works just fine I kind of want to do it to my other uh, kit lens since I saw the, I think that 18 to 55 is available also. It's 33 bucks, which is kind of a bummer, but I mean, it is metal and it's really nice. All right, let's get everything taken care of.
right, we're back. We're back on the 10 to 18. Um, of course, the ISO has to go up a bit because it's 4.5 at 10 versus 3.5 at 10 with this one. This one, by the way, here's, here's the new, newish one. It's really, um, it's really nice. I like it. Um, good news, bad news. The mount, the uh, the bayonet piece is awesome. It's super sturdy. It's uh, a little, a little pricey. It wasn't the worst. It was like uh, after shipping and everything. I think it was like 30, 40 bucks. So it's 32 plus. I think I don't remember how much shipping it was. Like five bucks or something. It's real small. Good news, bad news. Um, the mount's sturdy. Works perfectly. Lens seems to be just fine. I mean, you're looking at it right now. I don't really see any problems in the autofocus and all that. Everything seems to be working just fine. Um, Granted, the fall really wasn't, the fall was like maybe that high, wasn't too high. Um, so I'm glad everything worked out well. Um, bad news is, I I don't know, I, it's, not really, it's, not, it's not really bad news. I mean, what's bad news is having a bunch of lenses, that's not really bad news, but yeah, I mean, I rushed this over because I was trying to get another shot, to, another shoot done the next day because of that. Um, so now I have two super wides, two, 10 to 18, 10 to 22. Um, yeah, it's one of my favorite focal lengths. So, I don't know. I guess I got two super wides. Whatever. Um, I really do like the bayonet for this. I only have one more plastic lens. Uh, well, I mean, the body's plastic, don't get me wrong. But like, I only have one more lens that has a plastic mount. So I will, prob I will probably grab the replacement for the other kit lens that I have, just because it's nicer, it's more sturdy. Um, doesn't seem to be causing any issues whatsoever. And yeah, it's just nice, it's nicer. I'm kind of paranoid about the plastic one, so. Yeah, um, that's all I really have. Uh, I was sitting on this lens for about a week waiting for this piece to come in. Um, came in super early, which is nice, but again, it's raining, so I'm not even gonna get to shoot any real estate stuff till probably next week. So, two lenses, yay! I gotta go. It's weird. It's been a weird few days. Um, yeah, I'm gonna test this out a little bit more since I got it, and I'm gonna also test this out a little bit more just to make sure that everything was working just fine. But from what I can tell right now, yeah, everything looks fine. So, yeah, while I have. Um, one and a half days without any uh, booked shoots. Uh, I'm gonna take advantage of that and, you know, take these out, get some shots. I don't know, just kinda have fun since last week kinda suck. Sucks dropping things. Hope to never, never do it again. All right, I gotta go. We got lots of stuff to do. Um, like, share, subscribe, you, you know, all that fun stuff. <gasps> If you have any questions about either of these lenses or that bayonet piece, um, yeah, just let me know. Comments, I uh, DM me on IG, whatever, if you got questions about any of this stuff. All right, like I said, I gotta go. Like, share, subscribe. Okay, bye.